okay hello and welcome to this video so i will be showing you how you can install a create a subdirectory on your domain so once you are signed into your cpanel you will find a search button at the top right corner so come to it and type soft tag plus as you can see once you type soft it will uh, bring up this search result so look for the one that is soft tag plus app installer and select it so once it's finished loading you will be brought to this page uh, these are different uh, content management system but in this case we want to install wordpress so look for wordpress and click on install so after clicking on install you will be brought to this page so this is where you are going to give your subdirectory a name in my case i may decide to give it something like scholarship okay i think i've given one of them scholarship before so depending on what you want to give this sub directory that you want to create you can type it in here if it's something like job you may need to type job here if it's something like any anything that you want you need to type in the name of the sub directory here so you can select the version of wordpress where it's always advised to leave it at the latest version of wordpress that you want to install so after that section you come you scroll down and you will find this section called site setting uh, this is where you give the site name you know the subdirectory that you are going to create is going to look like a blog on its own so it will need a, a site name and a site description i believe you know what a site name is and what a site description is so you can just um, give it something like a scholarship mush or you come here you type something like find the latest scholarship you can always edit this later in your wordpress dashboard but for the to make everything look uh, mature that you just need to uh, type it in here so after that you need to choose a username and a password this is what you will be using to log into your wordpress dashboard you know the normal wordpress dashboard if your site is legit.ng then legit.ng slash wp admin will bring up a, a login uh, dashboard so in this case after creating this subdirectory once you type in your domain slash the name of your sub subdirectory and then append something like wp admin the same uh, wordpress dashboard login will come up so this is where you need to specify the username you are going to be using and the password by default if the username is admin you can just type in something like um, um something like uh, a maker depending on what's your name then you input your password here let me type something like b b b dot dot one two three so you can always uh, do this thing check if the password is strong this that is what this thing is showing you and after that you know you'll be needing an email to manage this subdirectory just like the normal uh, site or uh, they call it a uh, web email so webmail so you will be needing a webmail to manage your site so you it by default is admin at your domain.com but you can change it to whatever you want you can decide to put a maker at your domain.com so after inputting the uh, how you after configuring how you want your email to look the, there is no other things to do here uh, this is the default language of of course it you want to leave it at english so you can select the theme that you want to use on the website here but if you want to upload theme or you can still leave this to be done later you know the normal way of installing team you still have access to this page um access to your theme section once you install wordpress so after um the uh, after uh, inputting all these details then scroll to the, this down section and click on this install button if you want a detail about the like an acknowledgement uh, email or something like updates whether the 
installation was successful or not if you want to receive it on your email you may need to enter your email here before clicking on the install so after clicking on the install button then the wordpress will be installed on the subdirectory you specified and uh, the page will reload and give you a url that you can use to log into your uh, wordpress and start managing your site so i think that's all you need to know about uh, creating a subdirectory